Hello beautifuls, my name is Quavier. I'm the creator of Juju Time. Um, I have an oracle message for you from the divine, from the dark divine mother. Um, and in this message, um, I took notes, I wanted to channel very clearly um, because, yeah, lately, especially lately, there's been, um, a lot that needs to be said so I wanted to sit channel take notes of just everything that I'm seeing and feeling okay um, so this is a collective message uh, but definitely lean into your spiritual ear um, and your intuition so that way you can hear the message that your spirits brought you here to listen for okay so in your present condition right now there seems to be a state of establishing strength solidifying your strength um, and basically going forward projecting your mind and very much stepping into who you are um, and the goals that you're wanting to um, move forward with. It's almost like this feeling as though the space that you're in is not big enough anymore, right? So there's this state of going forward, projecting yourself forward um, that you're really being encouraged for right um and the spiritual influences that are surrounding you right now they're really supporting you um in this kind of state that you are currently in um this could be very much like old ideas that you've had in the past and they just come right back up right and like there's this fire again to just go forward and pursue them okay but you're very much being supported in this uh from your spiritual court to just revisit rethink a lot of just a lot of this ultimately the goal that you are being asked to go towards i have here you're going forward creatively right there's a very big creative force that is currently taking place and this is um this ultimate goal but mostly what i feel from this is you enacting and being the catalyst for your life right there's definitely uh very much uh a vibe that things felt as though they were just happening to you and now it's it's as though like you have taken the torch and now you are going forward um, and being the catalyst being what ignites your opportunities your creativity it's really taking the wheel basically right however I see that within the past, right, and I'm talking the distant past, within the distant past, um, you were granted and gifted with so many wants and so many ideas. It was like the world just opened, right, and your crown just cracked just wide open and your guides um the muses 
were just inspiring you with all these ideas. You would see, I'm seeing like this vision of just being able to see a life that one, you didn't even know it was possible, but you see it so clearly in your mind's eye. You were just granted just so much visionary success, which sparked, from what I can see here, it really sparked um, this fire in you quite recently, like in the recent past, right? To really go forward very quickly and just start achieving this visionary success right and start to really just put your hand in just all these different ideas um that you were given that you were gifted with right but i wrote down here when i was channeling there was this feeling that moved through me of just moving way too fast it was almost as if this fear of losing out missing out that you're just gonna like this feeling of missing the boat you know and so it it's it seems like in the recent past you were going ahead very fast very quick but it was in a way of self-preservation right it was a way of pretty much um yeah that something that if you didn't and uh if you didn't act on these beautiful visions that you were given that they would just be gone however the problem started to arise when um, it seems like communication was uh, screwed up a bit either um, and it basically began to impact um, your vision it was it was as if when going forward as quickly as you were things did not things were not as clear and that foundation was not solidified yet it definitely has this air now as you are moving forward in the future right that that whatever happened in the recent past it it affected your steps moving forward um there were mistakes that were made right mistakes that were made maybe um things did not pan out um, things that you thought would be successful just didn't hit and it really shook you it definitely shook you there are definitely mistakes I'm seeing a lot of mistakes in the communication um, aspect but this can be just um, even mistakes of going ahead and skipping parts and just wanting to get to the good part you know instead of having to go through all the other processes you just sort of skipped and that sort of made the foundation very weak right um but yes as i said so because of this past this recent past experience right as you're going head into the future because as I said in the beginning, you have this fire. There's something in you now that is just like, I'm going, I'm going forward. I am going to be the catalyst, right? But because of this recent past energy that you experienced, right? There is a sense of this fear that you won't be able to fulfill what it is that you are striving towards. Okay, now this is definitely reflected um, within the inner work and outer work. You guys know I love to give like that inner work and outer work that is needed to better align ourselves to our own individual paths towards peace, love, joy, and abundance, right? Um, but this is definitely reflected within the, the inner work because as you are getting all this fire, 
right, to go forward. Spirit is needing you to enjoy the process, right? This time around, you aren't skipping steps. This time around, you are finding the ways to enjoy the process, to really absorb the lessons as you are going forward. I'm now, just now, I'm seeing this individual that is like taking care of a fire, right? I don't know if any of um, any of you have had to like take care of a fire and just like to keep it alive you know there's certain conditions that fire needs <laughs> to keep it alive and it's these conditions that spirit really wants you to pay attention to so within this present condition that you are in right as you are going towards this responsibility that you've been given from spirit to really oh, just blossom, just blossom, right? Um, but if going forward, things stay the same, right? There is this energy as if you are already defeated. Um, and it's like you have defeated yourself before you've even started. Okay, because of this, as I said, this, this recent past that, uh, that you experience, it really, it really hindered your confidence in yourself and the confidence in the vision that you were given from your higher spirits, you know? So there's this energy um, that basically in this current state, it feels as though, if I wrote down, it feels like the vision feels too big. That's what that, this is what this current energy is portraying, right? Because there's this sense and this fear that the attempts that you went down before, they went unfulfilled, okay? And so this, this fire burning that you are and you know experiencing it's kind of like a fire of vengeance a fire of trying to prove something to yourself or trying to prove something to someone else that that yes you can do it but the thing is that fire of vengeance in a way it is unsustainable it is unsustainable and I see that fire that spirit is wanting you to just take care of and the, you know to keep this fire burning right I see that kind of energy in a way just smothering it and then it'll just get lower and lower and I you know and it'll just see it just distinguish in a way right so this is the current so that's just the current state though that you are in okay um now the influence i wanted to look at how is this influencing your goals going forward right like the state that you're in how is that influencing it and the influence the energy that's radiating off of you because okay people can sense that fire but you know but there are those that are also feeling this radiation of cautiousness. I wrote cautiousness. It's like you are, you are calculating the process. Usually calculating your process, you know, ultimately is not a bad thing. But in this sense, it's almost as if you are unsure of yourself. They see the fire. They see the passion, but there is something that is like, hmm, their subconscious is telling them, oh, this person is still very unsure about their path, what they want to do, X, Y, Z, okay? Now, internally, right, we have spirit coming through in these moments of your guides really wanting you to trust yourself to learn to trust yourself, to trust your intuition, to trust the vision that you were given because it's yours. That's it. 
okay now I want to look at I, I'm, I pulled for inner work and outer work as I spoke on before right and that inner work is all about healing the energy that makes you feel desperate right really tackling and looking behind that desperation to see where it's coming from okay because that desperation it won't satisfy you from the events from the distant past to the to the recent past and now as you're going forward in your future there's just this air of desperation okay because and because as I said on some level it shook it shook you to your core um, and it shook your trust in yourself and the path and honestly if you're here watching me and this is resonating on some level of what I've said has resonated with you you are not on the wrong path you are definitely on the right path okay and I think your guides for bringing you here to hear this, okay? Now for that outer work, so that's the inner work that needs to be healed, that needs to be worked on, um, because healing that energy will definitely help keep that fire burning. But the outer work that needs to be done alongside this inner work is to repair the communication mishaps that happened with others or to learn from those communication mishaps and also i see this as well as being as um, repairing the communication between how you communicate your vision because i'm definitely seeing an individual that needs to pitch something they need to pitch something to someone and if you're in this space that you're needing to pitch something to someone there is this level of being able to communicate very clearly and confidently because you because you clearly understand your vision there is no miscommunication with your vision okay i also channeled stop fighting for a spot and be the spot and i underlined the be the spot i saw people coming to you i saw you being like this beacon of light and so we're moving away from that desperation and into a state of peace and security all right so the final result right this inner work this outer work doing this kind of deep healing as you're going towards your responsibilities that spirit has given you and there are a lot of them in terms of like that final result what i saw was that people seek you out and you are the guide you are the teacher i also saw that this journey in itself because we're not skipping any steps right the journey itself will enlighten you and it will lead you closer to your truth it will lead you closer to these different visions that you were given it will also lead you closer to the changes and the freedom that you are seeking because i definitely definitely saw in the bones here as well that transformation is very much open for you right now and your spirit and your guides within your spiritual court they are very much in the forefront of leading you within this transformation which is why that fire um is so strong and now in i just i just felt move through me just now of that fire is also moving through me as fear so it's like uh, i see an individual they're remembering all these different ideas that they once had and there's like this spark in them to go forward, but it's very much coming through to me as 
fear, like not trusting that fire that is starting to burn within you of saying, go forward, move forward. This is not big enough. Definitely talk to that fear and find out what it is that you are protecting yourself from. Talk to your guides, lean on your higher spirits to, to help you see more clearly what it is that you are hiding from yourself. Yeah, so that is the message um, that the Dark Divine wanted me to give you all. I hope that it um, will lead you more closer and help you align better with your own individual path towards peace, love, joy, and abundance. And I thank you so much for being here with me. And until the next one, truth and love.